it's a bit smoky here at the retreat center as the different fires um, you know, all around us um, continue. So we're praying that um, the firefighters have the, the, um, the ability to contain those fires today and tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about um, a woman who made the 19th annotation retreat with me um, about 25 years ago. Um, 25 years ago, um, I started to live in a different part of town than where I had been living. I started to live at a parish and um, I started to work with the Diocese of Phoenix and set up a 19th annotation retreat program in, in the Kino Institute that they had there at that time. And in the 19th annotation retreat, I directed, I can't believe it, but um, 13 people that, that year, um, probably which was too much, but whatever, it was a wonderful time for me um, to really get to know the spiritual exercises and to develop some sort of uh, experience with the, the exercise. And, and there was a woman who came who was an executive at IBM at that time, and um, she was winding down to her, um, her career um, she'd been there um, for a long time. She was a widow with, um, you know, grown children. Um, so she um, wanted to do the exercises, so we went through it. And um, because her time now was becoming um, a little bit more free, um, the following year, um, after she'd done the exercises, she joined my program to um, teach people and to intern as a director of um, people in the exercise and then we had supervision and everything like that and so she did that and she did that for a couple of years and then she was offered um, you know a real severance pass package that was really wonderful and she took that and at the same time I think if I remember the story right um, she learned that in Michigan um, one of our retreat houses there was looking for someone who could be part of their team um, and so she applied and they accepted her, they interviewed her and, and accepted her and she became part of a wonderful team of people who give retreats. It's kind of a, a famous place where she ended up. And so she worked there a number of years and then um, she applied to actually become the director of a retreat center, not a very big one, but one that was in Colorado. And, um, and so she went to Colorado, I think she had um, one or two of her children were living not too far from there. And so she became a, uh, the director of, of that retreat center. Um, and so it all really began, you know, of course, with her life of faith prior to the exercises, but it began when she went through the 19th annotation retreat and asked the Lord to show her what it was that the Lord wanted her to do. And then, then as she had experienced such wonderful changes and graces in her life, she wanted to offer that to other people. And that led her into, um, into offering retreats and setting up retreats for people in different parts of the country. So the Lord has surprises for us through the exercises. And the graces that come to us can be things that change our lives in, in really wonderful ways. Um, so the wisdom of St. Ignatius today, that this story of this woman, um, is that the Lord um, really can use um, this retreat that Ignatius developed 500 years ago um, to really um, draw us closer and closer into this love of God, which is um, absolutely so important for us. That's the wisdom of Ignatius for today.